what is up YouTube it's your boy Technicolor Concepts and today I've got another Red Dead online video for you and we are sharing a legendary animal tip that I've come across after watching several other videos with tricks and hints to try to help people out this one has been about the best one so far that I've found and it's helped me out quite a bit I have almost found all of the legendary animals in some way shape or form and I'm currently working on trying to complete the compendium for all of them and even though I know there's a few that have not been released yet I'm trying to get them get them all ready to you know trade in the stamps for Harriet and get that money but uh, from what I've learned basically there is a 72 hour cooldown period for all the legendary animals that's 72 hours in real time not game time um, for example if you go to Harriet and you go and do the sighting mission for the Moonstone Wolf you will definitely find it there's no way to not find it unless it gets away from you but if you do that mission and then go out looking for the emerald or the onyx wolf you won't find it at least not for three days and the only thing that I've noticed is you know you can go and find it in free roam and then you can go to Harriet and do it there so if you find the onyx wolf in free roam get whatever you're gonna do with it done you can go to Harriet and do the moonstone wolf and you can get two wolves in the same day but what I've been doing is I actually wrote down all of the legendary animals and there's plenty of videos that have lists of all these animals so that you can write them down and I've been keeping track of the date in which I find it so if I like right now I'm looking for the midnight paw coyote I'm circling strawberry where it's known to spawn and when I find it I'll write down the day's date so that I know to wait three days from then to go and look for the red streak or the milk coyote that's that's been the only thing that I've noticed that helps me out is just keeping track of the date and waiting three days the only other thing that I can throw out there that will possibly help you out I've heard other people talk about you know having friends that are at a lower rank naturalist because after rank 15 there is a perk that unlocks that's supposed to help you get more opportunities of legendary animals spawning but there's a bug in that particular perk and it does not work so after rank 15 you are probably less likely to have a legendary animal spawn in free roam unless you have a friend that's a lower rank naturalist and can come and help you help you out but because I don't have any friends playing the game I've been doing it all by myself so what I've been doing is just basically running around I'll check the lobby see how many players are in it see what rank and level they're at if they're at a lower level then I stay with it if there's a bunch of higher level players I'll switch lobbies until I find some players that are a lower level than you know 100 200 300 whatever the hell they are at some point I mean I'm at 160 myself but I'm also at rank 20 in the naturalist role so single solo lobbies do not seem to help me out but having other players in the game it, it does seem to help from what I've gathered maybe I'm just fooling myself I don't really know but it from what I can tell it seems to help me out but you're seeing here I'm actually switching lobbies now and when I come back if you look at the mini map the mini map will show the little question mark pop up for the legendary animal 
at the time I didn't even notice it myself it wasn't until I replayed the video and watched it that I saw it but I, I call in my horse and I start to ride up the road here and something else on the map catches my eye and I start to investigate but if you pay attention to the mini map you'll see the little question mark pop up and like I said there it is like I said I did not see that at the time and before I could even look at it it had already disappeared hi there So it, it does seem to help switching lobbies sometimes. At least I've, that's what I've noticed anyway. And like I said, when I get up here to the side of it, the, uh, the mini map makes something change. A couple of things disappeared off of it. And it made me think that it was a question mark. So I actually pull up here and I throw down a legendary animal pheromone and that actually let me know that there was a legendary animal nearby that I did not see. The funniest part is when I actually get to it and find it, my horse uh, kind of throws me, but it was kind of weird what happened. I've never had that happen. I've had the horse throw me before. I've had plenty of peculiar, funny moments where, you know, I've fallen off of a cliff or something stupid and crazy has happened. But what's about to happen here in just a minute, I've never seen happen. Maybe you'll get a good laugh out of it. I certainly did. But as you can see, I'm on the hunt for the coyote now. And I'm going to find it, kill it, skin it, and I'm going to sell the coat to Gus. I did not get a video of the price or what it looks like. You can see in the thumbnail for the video kind of what it looks like. Um, the price was somewhere around $400 or so. Not crazy expensive. At least not as expensive as some of the other ones. But if you haven't noticed by now... Uh, by my outfit that I'm wearing and my horse I like the color black and of course the coyote has got friends helping him out and he comes up behind me and you see I just got tossed like a rag doll that was probably the craziest thing I've ever had happen from getting thrown from a horse and now I'm taking out the, the coyote here did hope you enjoyed the video if the trick tip helps you out give it a thumbs up give it a subscribe and as always we'll see you next time